Hello, Gary Cleveland here with Cleveland Helicopter Services, Plymouth, Indiana. Another video on helicopter ground school topics. In this video, we will talk about loss of tow rotor thrust. Not to be confused with loss of tow rotor effectiveness as we talked about in another video. Again, I will draw a helicopter from overhead view. And again, I'm drawing a counterclockwise rotating main rotor system because that is the most common. Most helicopters are rotating counterclockwise that we're using for training such as the Enstrom, the Robinson products. If you happen to be flying a cabri or a rotorway turning clockwise, it's simply the opposite. Tail rotor will be over here, rotor systems turning the opposite way and you can figure the difference in this lesson given the difference in the torque going the opposite way. If you lose your tail rotor, the helicopter is going to yaw to the right. If you have no forward speed, it's going to do more than yaw. It's going to start to spin out of control similar to loss of tail rotor effectiveness except in this case you will have some clue that you have a mechanical failure the clue will be abnormal noise vibration suddenly the helicopter is yawing to the right if you're in a hover it's going to spin to the right and not stop despite left pedal a hover auto We'll fix that problem. Roll the throttle off, cushion the landing by lifting the collective. If you're in forward flight, enter an auto rotation. This will get rid of the torque. The aircraft will fly straight again. If you find that you do not have a spot, say you are over a woods uh, or a highly congested area in town, you can prolong that auto, join the needles again at a low power setting, keep forward speed so the aircraft will weather vane because it does not have a tail rotor, and then re-enter the auto when you see a suitable spot to do an auto rotation. This auto rotation will be all the way to the ground. You cannot recover this auto rotation as you would when you're practicing autos because as soon as you bring the power back in, it will spin out of control due to the lack of forward speed. It will no longer be weather beaming. Do not think that you will land this helicopter by sliding it on under power and manipulating the throttle for heading. We will talk about a stuck pedal emergency in another video and that is exactly how you will land the helicopter with a stuck pedal. If you tell the examiner that you are going to land the helicopter like that when you have a tail rotor failure, you will fail your check ride likely. And it will not work in the field either. Loss of tail rotor thrust. Auto rotation. That is the only way to land this helicopter. Enter an auto rotation immediately. Now, a moment ago I talked about prolonging that auto to get over a congested area or a woods. The key is enter the auto rotation. If you see that you do not have a spot, a suitable spot, you can bring that power back in and fly it with a yaw at a low power setting, keeping enough forward speed to weather vane it. You cannot do this for very long because you don't know what broke back here. Uh, you could have the gearbox could have failed. You could have lost parts from the actual tail rotor. But there's a shaft that goes back through here. This shaft could have broken somewhere. 
and there could be uh, more damage going on as you're flying. In fact, it would be possible that you could lose your entire tail boom trying to prolong this auto rotation for too long. If you lost your entire tail boom, you may be so far out of CG that you would not be able to do an auto rotation uh, with a proper flare and landing uh, to save your life. Hopefully this video is helpful for you and please leave comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified when I add more videos. If there's a topic you'd like to see covered in the near future, leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to that soon. Keep in mind that my videos are not edited, it's just me being me and I'm teaching you on the same whiteboard that I'd be teaching you on when you come here to train with me, as many of you may. Thank you and have a good night.